One major factor in protecting the City of Tulsa's natural resources is ensuring best management practices during construction activities. The City of Tulsa inspects all construction activities within city limits in order to protect our streams from sediment and debris pollution and our citizens from potential flooding hazards. When one of our stormwater quality inspectors arrives on a construction site, the first thing they do is ensure that all pre-erosion control measures, or ECMs, have been implemented. Some examples of ECMs the inspector will look for include making sure there is a gravel entrance to the construction site and ensuring a silt fence has been installed to keep mud, debris, and sediment from washing out of the site. Depending on the site layout, the inspector might also look for inlet protections, such as catch basins or bio bags. This silt fence is a perfect example. As you can see, it's installed correctly and sturdy enough to hold back sediment. When installing a silt fence, make sure the stakes are a minimum of six inches into the dirt to keep it from giving way and heavy runoff. Next, the inspector will check to see if a stormwater pollution prevention plan, or SWP3, is in place. An SWP3 is an architectural drawing that shows where the runoff water from a construction site will flow in an inlet. This plan will also show how the contractor plans to prevent water from running out of the construction site. The goal is to keep the sediment contained on site while the clean water flows out. Keep in mind that an SWP3 plan is only needed for areas that are one acre or larger. The inspector will also check the construction site for a City of Tulsa permit number, information on who the builder is, what they are building, and any other important details. All of this information is entered into the City's construction database. The inspector will then check to make sure all permanent ECMs are in place. Things like silt fences, gravel entrance, and grass. I'll show you an example of what some of these ECMs look like. Here you can see a silt fence has been installed to keep sediment from running out of the construction site. Gravel drives prevent drag out of sediment. Something to keep in mind is that hay bales are not an adequate ECM, according to EPA and ODEQ standards. Using hay bales is considered a violation and needs to be removed and replaced with a proper ECM. Over here, you can see the gravel entrance I mentioned before. What the inspector is checking for here is to see if mud or dirt is being dragged out onto the street by vehicles. Construction vehicles are large and heavy and construction sites contain lots of dirt and mud. If a gravel entrance and exit has not been properly installed, that dirt and mud can get tracked into the streets and roadways. That concludes our overview of what inspectors look for on a construction site visit. Our team periodically inspects sites throughout every construction stage. Expect to see a stormwater quality representative on site at least once a week or once every other week. We are here to make sure everything is up to standard, but we are also here to help set you up for success and answer any questions you might have. If our team finds any violations, we will notify the individual who holds the City of Tulsa construction permit. They will have two business days to correct the violation before a notice of violation or NOV is issued. As construction wraps up, our team will continue to visit to ensure all ECMs are in place until the completion of construction. We will check to make sure all post-construction ECMs have been successfully implemented, mainly that turf sod has been put in place. Thank you for joining us on this high-level overview of what you can expect during a stormwater quality inspection. We hope this was helpful for you.